Hi, I'm Peter Como. I'm Director of Acoustic Design for International Audio Group. And Quad is one of the brands that uh, I look after on the loudspeaker side. And this is a new ESL-X electrostatic speaker. Now, the first question some of you may want to know is, what is an electrostatic speaker? What is different about it to a conventional loudspeaker? When well, a conventional loudspeaker, you know that you have cones and domes and diaphragms which move backwards and forwards. The problem for the sound engineer, for a design engineer like me, is that all those cones and domes have a large moving mass, much larger than the mass of air that they are starting to move. And that leads to inefficiency. And also that inertia means that we have to deal with problems like overhang, where the cone, when it's accelerated, wants to keep on moving after the music signal has passed. Now, with an electrostatic, it's a very different system. We have inside every electrostatic speaker uh, a series of plates, and those plates hold an electric charge, and that electric charge is modulated by the music signal. Now, the diaphragm, which actually does the movement of the air, is, as you can see from the size of the speaker, is very large, but it is extremely light. It's so light that it approaches the mass of air that it's designed to move, and that makes it very efficient in terms of its performance. Also, because it's so light, there is no inertia. So, as you can imagine, the transient, um, the transient performance is almost perfect. In fact, Peter Walker used to demonstrate this speaker showing a one kilohertz square wave and say, can other speakers do this? Does it matter that other speakers can or can't do this? That's still debatable, but the point is that this speaker can faithfully reproduce a musical waveform exactly as it comes from your amplifier. Now, what we've done uh, over the years since the quad electrostatic was first introduced is a series of incremental improvements. The first quad electrostatic speaker was introduced in 1957. And it was originally a mono device because stereo wasn't around until the early 60s. And then in the early 60s, when stereo became popular and you needed two of them, Peter Walker changed the directivity of the original quad electrostatic a little. So from a certain serial number onwards, the, those changes were made. It was a small incremental improvement. In 1963, he started work on a brand new loudspeaker, which very similar to this one, which became known as the ESL-63. It wasn't the date of its launch, it was the date of the start of the design. And that was quite radical because he arranged within the loudspeaker a series of elements, a series of diaphragms, if you like, which uh, enable the speaker to behave as a true point source. And that gave much better stereo imaging, pinpoint precision in, in stereo imaging, in fact. And that is the principle that this speaker um, is based on. Uh, there are an arrangement of um, panels, we, we call them panels because um, they, they, that's what they resemble, uh, inside. The mid-range and treble panels are over the central portion and they do the job of arranging the point source material. And then at the top and the bottom we have extra bass panels. Now they just they don't just carry bass. In fact, the, the whole speaker is able to perform as a full range. But what they do is they extend the range of the speaker downwards to below 35 hertz in room. Um, and that's important in terms of uh, running it as a full range loudspeaker without subwoofer. Of course, you can add a subwoofer if you want to go down lower than that, but really it's not necessary. People who talk about electrostatics not having bass, it's not true. Come and hear these, you'll hear the bass perfectly in proportion to the rest of the, of the signal. So what is special about the new ESL-X if it is based on the ES, ESL-63 development? Well, over the years, we've done a series of incremental improvements. So we have added uh, a new frame, which is much stronger. And also, when you look around the back of the speaker, you'll see that there is a support system which gives it a high rigidity. It's a, ten it's a tension bar, which the user can tension in order to make a very high stability loudspeaker. We've also given it a small tilt so that uh, the time alignment is better for 
sitting uh, in, in your, uh, on your sofa or chair, uh, say two meters away from the speaker. Um, and in this particular speaker, we've done a series of small improvements. Uh, for instance, we've reworked the transformers, which relate the music signal from your amplifier into the, the electrical charge, which is on the diaphragm. And those changes to the transformer design um, are very important for high frequency detail, we found. Uh, we've also worked with um, a series of improvements, for example, with the grill cloth and the panels themselves. The panels we've been working on now for 10 years in order to improve both their reliability and their efficiency. Uh, and we're very proud to say now that these panels are ultra reliable and maintain their performance over a decade of use, which I think is absolutely brilliant for an electrostatic. Uh, we call this model, um, this, the appearance of this model, we call it Stealth Black. The reason for that is we want to give you the impression in a darkened room that the speakers completely disappear. The electrostatics are very good at doing this. Uh, you hear the music, you hear the performance, you hear the performers in your room. Apparently, the speakers have nothing to do with it. So we thought that by making it a Stealth Black, then you would be more aware of the stereo performance, more aware of having performers in the room with you, and less aware of the speakers visually. Uh, if you don't like the complete black look, then we've arranged some discrete lighting at the base, which can be switched on and off and adjusted so that it gives the speaker some dimension if you would like that. That's your personal preference. But I do urge you to come and listen to these loudspeakers. They're very special. I love them very much. And I hope you do too.